it's quiet. It's almost an eerie quiet to yeah. not hear the the rumblings of day-to-day -day life. My name is Nurse Carpenter, Nurse Jan. I have been at Rouse High School. This is my 13th year. And it's just been busy, but not in the typical busy. It's been busy with contact tracing, working with the health department, you know, getting notifications out to the COVID team. I've gotten to know my computer and my computer screen quite very well. It's a lot more sitting in front of the desk for hours on end, especially with so many of the kids being virtual, that you just don't see the normal. I think I'd get excited if I had some fire ant bites and a mosquito bite. Isaiah told me when he got here, he said, well, my mom said, have come down and have you look at it. And I was like, oh, this is like normal. If you know Isaiah, he's always dancing. He goes out, like he rides his bike. He bought him and his sister bikes with his own money from his job. He came home and he was like, I fell. And then I'm like, oh my goodness. That was like a month ago. So about a week and a half ago, he goes, mom, I have this bump on my arm and it was very soft. And he came in, I took one look, knew exactly what it was. There was a call from the officer, like the nurse from her house was trying to call you. And she was like, we need to, uh, you need to get him to the doctor today. It's infected. She's like, you don't want it to get worse. After 33 years as an RA, yeah, I knew exactly what it was. So we went to his pediatrician and she was very concerned. And she's not usually heightened. Like she's very like, oh, it's fine. But it was on his joint. And she goes, if that gets in his bone, that's a different separation. Especially with so many of the kids being virtual, that you just don't see the normal. In my family, either you're a teacher or you're a nurse. So nurses are people who I'm like, yes, like I applaud you, like you're such an essential part to our world. And so I just sent the tweet and I was like, Ms. Carpenter, that's amazing. She was so thankful and so appreciative. It was nice, it was nice to get a shout out because you know, mm -hmm. working harder during the pandemic with the least amount of students on campus that I will tell you I have ever worked in the 16 years in the, in the district. And looking at my whole, you know, my team, you know, because there are 50 men and women on the healthcare service team and I mean, that's, it's what we do, and we've been doing it since it all started in March. I think they may not always get the appreciation that they deserve. She sent us personal emails, she tweeted about us. I mean, everyone was, I was like, I, I was just doing what I do. I'm a nurse, that's what we do, that's what we're supposed to do. She was like, oh, I was just doing my job. I'm like, to me, it's more than a job. It's you touch, like reaching out to a kid and helping a kid who it could have gone bad. And she'll still check on it. And yeah, so they still like talk, it's like BFFs now. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly do do stuff for the kids. I really do. I really do. And I just, I mean, I love the kids. We're so much more than, like I said, band-aids and burgers. I'm a nurse. It's who I am. It's not my job, it's who I am.